Hi guys, Mr. B here, and today's video we're going to be introduced to something called a comma that looks a little bit like this fella here. Now, a comma is used for lots of different reasons, but what we're going to do is we're going to work out what they look like today, and then we're going to look at how we use them for something called a list. So, here we go. A comma. It looks like a full stop. I'm going to do a big one. A full stop with a tail. Okay. Now, when we put our commas in our work, or when you see them in the work, because there are other things that in our writing or in books that you're reading look like commas, but they're not. Because our commas need to sit on the line. The full stop sits on the line the same as any normal sit, uh, full stop would, and the tail just goes under. So this is not what we want to see when you're drawing a comma. It doesn't want to be floating, doesn't want to be up, okay? Because there are other things that look like commas that they could get confused with. So make sure first your comma sitting on a line. Now a comma is a little bit like, it's got a full stop, isn't it, with a tail on. When we're reading and we see a comma, we should leave a little gap, okay? And then a pause now, right? Not as much as a full stop, but a little gap. And it's telling the reader to take a breath and it helps us to understand our reading a bit more. What we're gonna do today is look at using this comma, this lovely little fella, for something called a list. Now a list is lots of items in a row. So if someone asks you something, you're gonna say more than one thing and we use commas to make those lists work. I've got the same list here and I've got it done the wrong way and I've got it done the right way. So let's have a look at the first one. The colours of the rainbow are green and yellow and red and blue and indigo. Okay, now your uh, teacher or whoever you're learning you to write will be telling you we shouldn't be using all of those ands in a sentence, okay? And we wouldn't say it in a sentence. If someone come to you and said, hello, what's the colours of the rainbow? You wouldn't go, oh, they are um, green and yellow and red and blue and indigo. You just go green, blue, yellow, red, indigo. And that's what a comma lets us to do. Because if we didn't put that comma in, and we're right, we'd get a little bit confused. So look at here, this is how we should have done the list. The colours of the rainbow are green, comma, yellow, comma, red, comma, blue and indigo. Now what you might notice is at the end, we don't actually use a comma between blue and indigo. When we're onto the last item in our list, we use the word and. But that means we're only using it once rather than one, two, three, four times that we have there. So when you're writing a list, and you're writing a list with more than two items, because if you've only got two, you could have said, the colours of my car are blue and indigo, that would be fine, don't need commas. If there's more than two items in the list, you should be using commas. You should be doing a little full stop with a tail on the line in between each item, okay? So, I'm gonna make a list for you, and I want you to pause the video and have a go at writing these items in a list. Now, I need you to remember that you need a comma, not before the first one, between each item, so R isn't an item, so we don't need a comma there, okay? And on the last one we use AND instead of indigo. So I'm gonna rub this off and I'm gonna write a list. Let's say it's a shopping list for Mr. B, the things he's gonna have at the weekend. Let's give him, he likes some pizza, so we'll have some pizza. Um, we'll have some chips, okay? We'll have um, some, we need to have something that's a bit more healthier. So we'll have some apples and maybe some oranges. Okay. And what else can we have from the, let's go back to the stuff we should mean each of burgers. Ooh, and I'm gonna have some white chocolate. Cause I love white chocolate. Okay, not a very healthy shopping list, but it's okay. I normally eat a lot healthier than that, not that it's yours. Now, what I want you to do is this one's gonna be a little bit harder because it's two words. So I'm just gonna give you a little tip. When we write white chocolate on our list, okay, we won't put a comment in between white and chocolate, or we won't put white and chocolate, because that's one item. It's not every word that has the comment, it's each item. So I'm gonna write the start of a sentence, okay? At the shop. I need, now I need you to pause the video now, write that sentence and finish it off. Put your commas in. There's my shopping list. There's what I need from the shops. Can you pause the video? Write what you need with your commas in 
and then play the video and see if you wrote it the same way that I did. Do your items down in order and that will make it easier for you to check your answer. But if it's in a different order, that will be fine, it doesn't matter. So pause the video now and have a go at this. Welcome back if you did pause. So now, at the shops I need, I'm going to work my way down pizza. I don't need a comma between need and pizza because need isn't an item on my list. But now I need my comma. I'm only doing them different colours to make it easy to see. Chips. We have a comma. Oh, make it a little bit bigger. Apples. Some healthy items. Another comma, because we've got another one on the list. Oranges. The comma, and there's a good one there. If you're going down onto another line, your comma goes after the last word. Okay, so I don't put my comma there. I put it after the word rather than before. Got some burgers. Burgers. Now I'm on to my last one. So I use the word and instead of a comma. And I've got white chocolate. So there's no comma between white and chocolate. Chocolate. And that is how your list should look. If you made any mistakes, have a look. What did you make a mistake on? Did you put a comma and and? Did you put a comma instead of the last one? Did you put and between there? Have a look. Maybe try this out again and have another go. So that's what a comma is and that's the first job that we're going to look at what we use commas for. Hope that helped. If it did, subscribe to the channel and like the video.